Question number six. A company is using an Amazon S3 bucket located in US West 2 to serve videos to their customers. Their customers are located all around the world and the videos are requested a lot during peak hours. Customers in Europe complain about experiencing slow download speeds. And during peak hours, customers in all locations report experiencing HTTP 500 errors. What can a solution architect do to address these issues? Option A. Place an elastic load balancer in front of the Amazon S3 bucket to distribute the load during peak hours. Option B. Cache the wave content with Amazon Cloud Front and use all age locations for content delivery. Option C. Replicate the bucket in EU West 1 and use an Amazon Route 53 failover routing policy to determine which bucket it should serve the request to. Option D. Use an Amazon Route 53 weighted during policy for the CloudFront domain name to distribute the GET request between CloudFront and the Amazon S3 bucket directly. Correct answer is option B. Cache the wave content with Amazon CloudFront and use all age locations for content delivery. Question number 7. A solution architect is designing a solution that includes a managed VPN connection. To monitor whether the VPN connection is up or down, the architect should use Option A. An external service to ping the VPN endpoint from outside the VPC. Option B. AWS Cloud Tail to monitor the endpoint. Option C. The CloudWatch tunnel state metric. Option D. An AWS Lambda function that parses the VPN connection logs. Correct answer is option C, the CloudWatch tunnel state metric. Question number 8. A social networking portal experiences latency and throughout, sorry, throughput issues due to an increased number of users. Application serv servers use very large data, data sets from an Amazon RDS database which creates a performance bottleneck on the database. Which AWS service should be used to improve performance? Option A, auto scaling. Option B, Amazon SQS. Option C, Amazon Elastic Assay. Option D, ELB application load balancer. Correct answer is option C, Amazon Elastic Assay. Question number nine. A solutions architect is de designing network architecture for an application that has compliance requirements. The application will be hosted on Amazon EC2 instances in a private subnet and will be using Amazon S3 for storing data. The compliance requirements mandate that the data cannot tra trans traverse the public internet. Which is the most secure way to satisfy the requirement? Option A. Use a NAT instance. Option B. Use a NAT gateway. Option C. Use a VPC endpoint. Option D. Use a virtual private gateway. Correct answer is Option C. Use a VPC endpoint. Question number 10. A solutions architect is designing a photo application on AWS. Every time a user uploads a photo to Amazon S3, the architect must insert a new item to a Dynamo DB table. Which AWS managed service is the best fit to insert the item? Option A, Lambda at Edge. Option B, AWS Lambda. Option C, Amazon API Gateway. Option D, Amazon EC2 instances. Correct answer is Option B, AWS Lambda. Question number 11. An application relies on messages being sent and received in order. The volume will never exceed more than 300 transactions each second. Which service should be used? Option A, Amazon SQS. Option B, Amazon SNS. Option C, Amazon ECS. Option D, AWS STS. Correct answer is Option A, Amazon SQS. Question number 12. A solutions architect is designing an application on AWS 
that uses persistent block storage. Data must encrypted at rest. Which solution meets the requirement? Option A. Enable SSL on Amazon EC2 instances. Option B. Encrypt Amazon EBS volumes on Amazon EC2 instances. Option C. Enable server-side encryption on Amazon S3. Option D. Encrypt Amazon EC2 instance storage. Correct answer is option B. Encrypt Amazon EBS volumes on Amazon EC2 instances.